This is our episode two on what is sin. Last week we touched a different definition of sin and this week we're touching the next definition which is all unrighteousness is sin. So based on the Bible's uh, um, definition of sin in 1 John chapter 5, verse 17, I'm going to read it. It says, all unrighteousness is sin, and there is a sin that is not unto death. So I want us to break down and dive into what the Bible meant by unrighteousness. And we know when we talk about unrighteousness, we're talking about uncleanliness. We're talking about not living right. And we know righteousness is a gift. But in as much as righteousness is a gift, we still have our path. There's a second part to righteousness where we have our part to play. And so the Bible here is saying that we know that whatsoever is born of God, sin it not. So because you're born of God, you're being separated from the world, from the wicked world. So though you live in the world that is wicked, you're not of the world, the Bible is saying. But he said that, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself clean and the wicked one toucheth him not. So because you've been separated, your life would be different from other people. So now you're not following the systems of the world. You're not following what the world has socially constructed to be right. But what you're following is the manual of God. What does God say is right and what are the commandments? And so the next part we're going to also be touching is, uh, Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 to 15 reads, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness got to do with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what concord does Christ have to do with Belial? Or what has he that believeth with an infidel? And so what that Bible is saying, the Bible was trying to give us a two, a two perspective into the two sides of the world. You cannot be in the middle. We already know that the Bible constantly tells us that we cannot be lukewarm. We can't sit on the fence. So what the scripture of the Bible here is saying is that it's either you're righteous or you're unrighteous. You cannot be of Christ and still belong to the Belial system that worships the system of the world. You cannot be, um, um, be, be spiritually inclined and still be yoked with the world in general and so this is what the bible is encouraging us to do in this regard it says you should come out from among them so be ye separated from the world and be ye and touch not any unclean thing only then will the lord receive you so the bible always makes us understand that god cannot have anything to do with uncleanliness he's so pure everything about him is so pure that he cannot be in a space where an unclean or a filthy thing is in. So the Bible is saying that, yes, though you may be in the world and you're unrighteous, you need to let go and let go of everything that is of the world. Let go of the sin. Let go of that unrighteous living. It's I, I broke it down into in the last episode. I wanted to go there and see what unrighteousness really means. But what he's saying is that come to the other side, which is the side of Christ. Come and live a clean life so that you can dwell together with Christ in heavenly places. The Bible said this is the consequence of living unrighteousness. Romans chapter 1 verse 18 says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who had held the truth in unrighteousness. So what the Bible there is saying is that as long as you're living unrighteously, the wrath of God will be meted to such people. So he's saying, when you have the truth, let the truth actually lighten your life and let your life become a, a, a life that other people can also draw and tap into that same light. But uh, generally, I hope this really explains. I want to just, I'm doing this series so that we can get the understanding into what certain words in the Bible mean. And so thank you for joining. Um, this is just a summary. All unrighteousness is seen before God. Be ye separated and, and you are part of the world, but do not be involved in the world. You are of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next episode. Bye-bye for now.